Blade Masters out there are really going to hate me for this, and I'm sorry. Hey yo, how's it going everybody? My name's Oxana Buffalo, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Rise build video. Today I have a heavy bow gun video that is quite explosive. <laughs> um, but it's, it's a lot of fun, so let's get into it. Uh, so this build centers around the Tigrex heavy bow gun, which it does a lot of damage. Main reason we're here though is for its rampage or sticky ammo level three and cluster bombs level three shots it can use them both it can use all the other ones in between that as well but it can use both of those level threes which is pretty insane it can use a lot of other ammo types as well which is good but those those two are the ones we're here for um it's enabled to use these largely because of its rampage skill the cluster effect too so you'll want to throw that on there that gives you what you need here to use the cluster bombs to their maximum effect with this thing it's pretty nutty. Um, for the other gear we're using, we're using the Itsuchi mask and chest piece, or the female equivalent if you're a female character. Uh, you'll want to throw those on. We're here for that spare shot. It's just super good. When you're using cluster bombs, it actually can make it so that you can just keep firing sometimes. It's super satisfying when that happens because you can get a lot of damage out without using any of the ammo or reloading. It's amazing. <laughs> um, we're using the Renepolos braces, which are ugly. They are so ugly, but thank goodness we have layered armor, especially now with the newest update where you can make layered armor of whatever, so it's even better. Um, we're here for the artillery, though. The artillery level 2 is key for this. Um, it also comes with a level 2 slot and a level 1 slot, which we need as well. Waste piece, Anjanath coil, that level 2 attack boost is just so good, as along with the level 2 slot and two level 1 slots, which we need all of those. Then Hunter's Greaves gives us a level 1 slot and attack boost level 2, stun resistance 1. I always like to have one level of stun resistance, but we're mainly here for the attack boost level 2. Hunty Pelace, use a Pelace of your choice. Talisman, in these videos I don't like to require a specific talisman of any kind. The only requirement is a talisman that gives you two slots, uh, two, one level 2 slot and a level 1 slot. Um, whatever else you can get that you have is great. Otherwise, that's pretty much all that's required from whatever talismans you might have laying around. We just need those slots to finish up what I've got here. Um, it's a pretty good build. So, the reason we need those stat skills here, those specific skills, is because we gotta fix some of the stuff with the Tigrex Heavy Bowgun that it personally really bugs me. And it's got once we fix them, though, it's really good. So, we end up with et attack boost level 6 with how I got this set up. It's a lot of extra damage, that's all you really want. You don't need any of the other stuff, you just want to do as much damage as you can per shot. Spare shot level 3, like I said before, you just want to be able to sometimes get free shots in. Artillery level 3 is going to really ramp up the damage on the sticky ammo, which is great. Reload speed, um, their sticky ammo reloads ridiculously slow, like it's like the stopping kind of reload, if you don't have reload speed level 3. I think it's entirely mandatory to have reload speed level 3 with this if you're going to use it. I could not use it without it. Um, I tried, couldn't do it. It's too slow of a reload, your DPS goes down, it's more risky, just not worth it. Recoil down also helps with that recoil from using the sticky ammo as well. Those are the only required things, the other things are just going to be based off of what extra perks the, thing, the slots you have on and what not are. So, as far as decorations, there's not too many requirements. Um, the only major ones are you're going to need three quick load jewels, which are level one slots. They're pretty easy to make, so not a big deal. Um, I have two attack jewels on there just to put that attack boost up to level six. And then absorber jewels to give you the recoil down. And then one artillery jewel. You will need that to get level one or level three or artillery. And then... With the level 2 slot, you could throw another attack jewel on if you want to max out attack. I threw a KO jewel on just to further ensure my knockouts as much as possible. That's all that's required. You'll have one level 1 slot that you can really do whatever you want with. So how this pretty much goes is you'll, if possible, charge up your sticky ammo shots as high as possible. Shoot it in the face, the monster in the face, until it knocks out. You'll keep using the sticky ammo level 3s until it knocks out. And then you'll cluster it with the level 3 cluster and just do a boatload of damage <laughs> while it's on the ground. Then you rinse and repeat. To do that, you will need to be able to craft the level 3 ammos of both of those on the go. So if you're not 
actually sure how to do that, you can actually set up a radi in your radial menu to be able to craft things for you. So if you go in, press start, it's in your very first list, items and equipment, down to radial menu settings, hit quests, and you can create a shortcut right there. So I have it on shortcut two, and you can make it so that you can craft sticky ammo one, sticky ammo three, cluster one, and cluster three. And it's super easy, you just flick it like you're using items um, as if you were just healing or sharpening or whatever. It's the exact same way. Super efficient, takes like no time to do. You can do it almost always as long as you're not actively like attacking or dodging or whatever. Super good. Um, that's pretty much required. So for the items, you'll want to make sure you bring not only those level three shots that you can carry for all those as well as the level ones for sure. Um, you'll want to bring the materials you'll need to convert level ones to level threes and make more level ones. So you'll need level three gunpowder and then the bomb berries and the sticky ammo equivalent. Um, this can be very expensive. You'll want to get the Argozy making all of that stuff for you, especially the berries and then the stuff you need to make the gunpowder level three. Uh, that'll help you afford it and be able to do it without having to spend a ton of money and you'll need the berries anyway so you can continue to make um, the ammos as you're on the hunt. Works out pretty well. It does a lot of damage. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. As far as switch skill, I like tackle. I think counter charger is great. I don't like counter shot um, personally. I like being able to counter and then it's like a quick animation and then I'm ready to dodge or attack however I need as well as it shortens the charging time, which is great with those sticky ammo so you can get as much damage as possible. Uh, the mech weaver and snipe thing, I have the normal one. I don't think the healing one's necessary personally, so that's where I'm at with that. Um, as far as the dangos, you will want to eat the dizzy bloom dango for sure to give you that increased stun, which is always helpful when you're going for nothing but stuns and KOs with this thing. Uh, you want to also eat the dango bombardier so you can get that sticky ammo damage boost. And then I like eating Dango Marksman slash feet just for the power of shots. It's a pretty fun build. It's very explosive. It's a lot of fun. You just blow things up. It's kind of expensive. I don't think it's really doable until late game once you got your kind of Argozy going and you got the money to be able to spend to make the ammo. But it is pretty fun. It can make some really quick hunts once you get really good with it. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I haven't totally messed around. There is the new monsters that update did come out recently. I'm still making my way through it. I have fought the mysterious monster that they didn't tell us was coming, really, which was exciting to see him. Um, I was so excited to see Camellios back. Camellios is like one of my favorite Elder Dragons anyway, just because he's a total goofball and I love him and he's great. I always loved his weapons too. So he was great. I'm so glad he's back finally. And I fought in Kashal. I haven't gotten to Teostra quite yet. I am like right on the verge, but it's been a lot of fun. I am glad that they breathed new life into this game already and gave us a proper end game to work towards. But yeah, it's been good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. If you liked it, drop a like down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what your builds you're doing, how far you're at in the game. And then subscribe if you want to see some more content from me. But otherwise, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.